In this video I'll be doing a review of this Rex Betty Caliper Digital. Uh, does metric inches in fractions as well as decimals. Let's get to it. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe. Just hit this button right here. Here's a few quick details about this uh, set of calipers. Of course you get the calipers itself. It does all the standard functions which is uh, depth, of course uh, width, and uh, inside measurements as well. You see that here, inside width and depth. So it's got all the standard uh, functions you would expect in the dial caliper. It comes with a uh, cute little screwdriver so you can change the battery. And it also comes with a spare battery. I've already changed it, but I do keep a spare in it. You're supposed to get one year's use out of the battery. Continuous, it says. I think I got about a year, but not continuous. But it doesn't matter. The 2032 batteries that it uses are fairly inexpensive. Um, actually has a decent little manual that explains things and troubleshooting, which is good I haven't used it but looking through it uh, it's pretty thorough if somebody needs a little bit of help now I've also got a set of Dillon precision calipers I will use the Dillon to do a few experiments uh, and see if this Rex Betty I think that's the way it's pronounced is as accurate as they say uh, it is and it is accurate according to the manual to five ten thousands uh, which is pretty good so to test the accuracy of the Rex Betty I'll be measuring some of these uh, machinist parallels that I have. They're all one eighth of an inch thick and they range in uh, depth from uh, half inch to one and five eighths. So here's the Rex Betty and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this plastic case that it comes in which is uh, pretty convenient out of the way. Here is a machinist parallel. It's uh, three quarters of an inch and just to do a quick measurement here let's see how this comes up 0.7495 actually let's zero this first because what i have found is that it pays to frequently zero this it does drift off a little bit with a lot of use it's got 0.75 so here's the neat thing i can switch it to fractions of an inch 0.75 is three quarters of an inch and if i needed to know what it was in metric i put it in metric and we'd have 19.03 millimeters so it is, we do have a level of accuracy there. Let's compare that with the Dillon. Here's the Dillon. I've got it zeroed. Quinto 0.075. So that looks good so far. Now what about depth? We know this is one eighth of an inch depth. And... Uh, and that should be 0.125, which it is. Let's do the same thing with the uh, Rex Betty, where they came up with that name. I don't know, but 0.125. I'm going to change that to fractions, one eighth of an inch. Metric 3.18. Here's a one inch parallel. One inch. So, so far this is uh, this is pretty accurate. I'm just going to do the one eighth reading just for giggles. One point one two. 0.125. And by the way, if you get that fourth digit, that's in the ten thousandths range. So uh, periodically, I would get a that 0.5, and that's within the accuracy specs that they call out for, which is five ten thousandths of an inch. So so far, everything looks pretty good to me uh, uh, with this Rex Betty. Um, I'll be honest with you; I've used it quite a few times. Uh, here's a sequence where I used it in measuring the offset on a GPU cooling fan. You're going to go from the outside edge to the inside edge, or outside to inside, either or, but that's going to give you a center to center measurement. Let's see if we can get this outside edge as close as possible. 38.99. And here's yet another sequence where I was doing a Lincoln Sync on a Yamaha outboard. 
and it called for 20 millimeters uh, as a starting point. Let me show you where we start. This is the idle advanced control screw with the stop. I'm going to take a measurement real quick to see where we're at. 18.09. So this has to be lifted up a little bit to get the uh, 20 millimeters that Yamaha calls for. So we're at 20.10. Uh, that's pretty close to 20 millimeters. I'm going to call that done. And now we're going to tighten it up. There's a few other things that I should point out on this. One, it's IP54 rated. So that means that it's sufficiently protected against dust intrusion and water splashing on it from any areas. I can't imagine we'd be splashing water on this, but it does have IP54 rating. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is that battery changes fairly simple. You take the provided screwdriver and there is your CR2032 battery which pops out. Um, let's go ahead and put the cover back on so we don't lose anything. And it does turn on automatically. Nice zero. So all in all, I'm very pleased with the Rex Betty, and as a matter of fact, it's become my go-to caliper. Now, if I have to do something that requires extreme precision, I'll actually break out the Dillon and double check it with that, uh, but that's rare. For the most part, this, uh, this little uh, Rex Betty comes in pretty handy. One thing I really like about it is the capability to go from inch to metric, so it acts like a little calculator. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, Hit share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.